And a Park Hill teen died after taking drugs that were or a drug that is that was known as synthetic acid. And those types of drugs are a growing problem, not only here, but across the country. Now, Lindsay Shively is showing us why hundreds of these new types of copycat drugs are a problem in our backyard in Kansas City. She's live in Riverside, where police say a 15 year old died from these drugs just last week. Lindsay. Well, Jadion, these drugs are cheap, easy to get, and of course deadly. And drug experts say the people that make them tweak the molecular structure from uh, normal drugs that we are used to seeing just a little bit so they can skirt the law and they aren't illegal. But the law is slowly catching up, and that's why two teens in this case do face charges. The copycat drug that killed 15 year old Ethan Rickman isn't a new problem. There's literally hundreds and hundreds of these chemicals. Bob Welsh, a drug recognition expert, has watched synthetic or imitation drugs take over America's streets and schools. There's, there's been quite a few documented cases where people just take these things and die. It's easily accessible for as little as 50 bucks. Because there's so many ways that you can just get on the internet and buy these things. Young kids. Any, anybody with a credit card. Charging documents state the teen who gave Rickman the drugs gave him blue squares of paper and tinfoil. Not true LSD, but a research chemical. They belong in a research facility, not out on the streets for people to use. This stuff is different. Tracy Durbin, also a drug recognition expert, says most synthetic drugs come from unregulated labs in China or India, adding there's no way to know what's really in them. People are getting high off of stuff that they have no idea what's going to happen. It's like playing Russian roulette with your health. And Durbin says what he finds most frightening is the recent discovery of synthetic heroin in the United States. Three weeks ago, found in Alabama. Its nickname is Crocodile because it turns your skin green and flaky and is also incredibly deadly. Uh, both of our drug experts say they would not be surprised to see that make its way to the Midwest. We're live in Riverside. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News. Thank you, Lindsay. Well, two teenagers face charges in connection with the death of Ethan Rickman. Krista Meeks and Jamal Montgomery are charged with distribution of an, of an imitation controlled substance. Their bond is set at $25,000 each.